So you're a West Ham fan and you've travelled to Belgium to watch the Hammers take on Anderlecht today. You've probably been there for a couple of days and although you've been there celebrating and drinking with your fellow West Ham fans, you might be wondering what can I do in Brussels ahead of the game? Well, this is where my tour guide video comes in and I can give you a rundown of things to do in the Belgian capital. Now, Anderlecht itself isn't actually in Brussels. It's in the Brussels capital region. It's about 14 miles away from the city itself. So you'd have to use public transit to get from Brussels to Anderlecht. It's worth noting that any supporter that does not have a ticket for this game will not be allowed to travel to Anderlecht. West Ham fans trying to buy tickets in the home end will have the request cancelled. So think before you act. Where is Brussels, you may be asking? Well, there are two different spellings. Brussels, B-R-U-S-S-E-L-S, -S -S, and Bruel, and Bruxelles, B-R-U-X-E-L-L-E-S, -L -L -E the French spelling. It consists of the Flemish and French part of the Belgian community, and both languages are widely spoken. A large percentage of the population does speak English as well, but try a bit of French and Dutch if you can. Cuisine is one main reason why tourists come to Belgium, because of the chocolatiers, breweries, delicatessens and the local restaurants. Try some fries with mayonnaise or some Belgian chocolate. The King of Belgium's administration is headquartered in Brussels as well. So what things can you do there? Well, there are a lot of museums and um, architectural sites, but I've picked three things that you can do if you want to pass the time. The first thing is the Galerie Royale Saint-Hubert. This is a unique shopping mall near Brussels Central train station. It attracts around 6 million visitors every year. You can explore the cafes, restaurants, boutiques and confectionery shops. And the building's interior sometimes lights up at night. The Grand Place, also known as Grutemarkt. This is the most visited attraction in the city. It's a 110 by 68 meter area, which is covered in a carpet of flowers every 2nd August. It hosts large New Year celebrations and is a big meeting point for people in Brussels. The Atomium, the Atomium rather. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I gave it my best shot, okay? The Atomium looks like the molecular structure of a chemical element, but it's got a, quite an interesting meaning to it. In 2013, CNN named this structure the most bizarre building in the world. But Belgians find it to be a national symbol of science. It has nine spheres, six of them you can walk around and see the city skyline from high above. So now your tourism's out of the way, you're going to want to know how to get to Anderlecht Stadium. It's called Lotto Park. So what's it like there? Well, Lotto Park is one of the biggest and oldest stadiums in Belgium. It opened in 1917 and wasn't renovated again until 1983. In 2012, the stadium itself had to go under mandatory restoration work to fit with UEFA standards. The capacity had to decrease. I can't speak today, sorry. But this allowed more hospitality sections and a press office to be built. Today, it has 651 VIP seats and safe standing for the fans. And it's going to be all seated for the Europa Conference League tie this Thursday because of security and safety measures. How do you get there? Public transport is the best way. Use the Brussels Metro. Line 5 of the Brussels Metro of the service to Ermann de Brue. The station West Ham fans will be getting off at is the Umal station. It's spelled A-U-M-A-L-E. It's around 16 minutes away, walking distance, and it's a lot further away than the preceding St. Guido station, but that's where away fans are told to get off at to avoid congestion on a game day. It is what it is. Don't blame me that you've got to work further. Get your steps in. What do you need to know before you go? Well, it's worth knowing some Belgian customs and local laws, as per every foreign country you go to. First rule is know the name of the main train station you'll be getting to and from London at. The main train station in Brussels is called Brussels South in English, Bruxelles Midi in French, and Brussels Zuid in Dutch. 
Tourists are often thrown off by these names. They think it's three separate stations. That is not the case. The Eurostar departs from Brussels South and not Brussels Central. Don't make any loud noises either. In Belgium, it is illegal to play loud music after 11 p.m. in a private residence. A complaint could result in you being fined or even arrested. I also need to talk about tipping. From what I read on Lonely Planet, tipping is welcome at Belgian restaurants, but it's not mandatory. If you're going to tip, tip at least two euros, just to be polite. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like the video, you know what to do by now. Give it the like and don't forget to sub for more content. Take care, everyone. And if you're in Belgium right now, enjoy the game.